Hello. Hello and welcome to today's video, which is celebrating two years of Holistic Hounds. Whoop, whoop. Happy birthday to us. So on the 2nd of January, mm -hmm. the business officially became two years old. That makes me feel old. Two whole years of Holistic Hounds. How exciting is that? It's... it's... <laughs> It's overwhelming. Nathan should be excited. I am excited. It's, <laughs> it's, it's been a hard two years. It's been it difficult. Um, Covid and yes. what feels like a recession. Yeah. <laughs> and many hours of talking to our amazing accountant going, ah, <laughs> permanently. And about a thousand sleepless nights we, 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 we've got to two years. Which but we is made great. it. We made it. We made it. We made it, guys. We'll see how year three goes. So in today's video, we're going to do a bit of a like recap of the year mm. and maybe even talk about some plans that we have yeah. for this year. Yeah. I mean, I just thank God Charlotte's written some notes because I can't remember what we did last week or last year. I'm ready. Anyway. Let's go. Let's go. Got our trusty notes? Uh, I have my trusty notes. You have nothing. <laughs> Which is basically just... How we run this. How we run this. Charlotte thing. makes notes and I just completely talk off. You are. Welcome. So, recapping of this year. Um, mm -hmm. Earlier on this week, I will have released these two lovely little... Um, graphics. Graphics that I designed. With some of the highlights from the year, as well as all of our social stats, which I think is really interesting. You may not, but I'll pop them up on the screen for you to read anyway. And if you aren't following any of our socials, you know, you know what to do. Please go follow. Yeah. Anyway, um, so this year we have seen 182 new clients. Well, that is awesome. 182 new dogs that we have seen just that, well, not this year, but last year. Yeah. In a whole year. Yeah. That is insane. It's awesome. I mean, yeah, I, I remember I remember when I was, you know, running our previous business. Yeah. On my own. And I was like seeing five people a week. Like just five sessions. I remember looking at my week having five one hour sessions, you know, per week and just to have hundred and eighty two new clients a yeah. year. I mean, you know, that's that's more than one a week. What is it? Two, <laughs> two, three, that's a lot three of week. a week? That's a lot a week. Yeah, that's about three a week. Yeah. Please don't judge our maths, I'm trying. Yeah, 150, yeah, it's well over three a week and we're yeah. not open every year, so that's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Um, if you are one of our new clients, thank you very much thank you for so joining much. us. Um, and if it's... you're thinking about becoming a new client, there's plenty more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, come along. Yeah, you, you're not just a number to us. No. Like, we love every single one of you and we're just so excited to, to have 182 new yeah dogs people that we can yeah. help out that, yep. like that's just incredible for us um yeah so yeah super super chuffed about that thank you very much guys yep. we have raised 740 pounds for charity yeah that is the most we've ever made obviously because it's only been two years but yeah. that is more than we made the first year in the business so it's awesome again thank you so much to everybody who joined yeah. us on our charity events and donated. Who donated yeah um so just to split that up at the beginning of the year in mm -hmm. april we did a walk around the ship lake circular wasn't it i think it was the ship lake circular i'm pretty yeah. sure it was ship lake yeah. i will pop up some like, we got really lost stuff. didn't we we did, yeah, yeah, we got lost. Yeah. Um, and we raised £170 for the National Animal Welfare Trust. Which is awesome. Yeah, awesome charity who work with lots of different animals. Yep. Um, yeah, really, really good. We walked a lot. I think it was like five miles, wasn't it? It was a fair walk. It was yeah. quite a long walk. And then our Christmas charity walk this year. Yep. We had, what, 30 dogs? Fairly, yeah, I we've got we dogs, like yeah, about 30. 30. dogs. Who came on this walk because we yeah. don't we don't stop people from coming normally no. we cap it at 20 dogs for our group walks but for charity events we obviously don't open book you're all welcome yeah so i think we had over 30 dogs yeah and we raised 570 pounds awesome. for anthony nolan 
And they are, they deal with yeah. bone marrow and stem cell research for cancer treatment, which is an absolutely worthwhile charity. Anything to do with cancer is awesome. So yeah. thank you so much for everyone that donated to that. Yeah, we're really, really excited for our charity events for this year. We're already planning a yeah. couple. Yeah. We always do a one right at the beginning of the year and yeah. one right at the end of the year. We always do our Christmas yeah. walkers for charity. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you have any, any charities that you think <laughs> you just scared Lottie by knocking that over. <laughs> Sorry, I knocked some crackers over um, from Christmas. If you have any charities that you think um, would be good to raise money for, Give post them. them in the comments below. Yeah, let us know. Send us a message. We're always happy. Yeah. We generally ask like a member of our team, and if not, we we kind of ask our, we'll our reach clients out to you guys. And, and stuff. So, yeah. yeah, thank you very much for that. So we've also done 450 CPD hours. In the dog training community, there's very little requirements to be a dog trainer. So as a company, we kind of advocate that all our team do CPD, which is continual professional development. Yeah. Uh, I sometimes call it CPT. It's, it's my own little world. Um, CBD, CPD, not CVD, CPD. <laughs> and so we've done, uh, as a team, we've done 450 hours of uh, development and training. Yeah and just knowledge growing yeah. which is awesome we you know when we started the business we wanted to advocate for mm -hmm. continued learning for yeah. all of our members of staff because you know as nathan said said there's no requirements in the dog training world yeah. you know you kind of can call yourself a dog trainer and anyone can mm -hmm. can do that and so we wanted to make sure that all of our team yeah. are continuously progressing in their learning yeah so whether that be going and doing courses whether that be doing online stuff, whether it be yeah. working with different dog trainers to get experience, yeah. we you know we want that to be something that we are really pushing with our business, yeah. and we're proud to say that yeah. we are one of the very few dog training businesses out there that actually does that. Yeah, because there aren't many that that choose to do that. Um, but yeah, we we make not make, but you know we encourage, we encourage. All of our staff and to if, do it. If they do, you know, we we talk all the time is there a course that you kind of want to do and if there is something you know we do we go out of our way to try and fund it for them yeah, 100% um, so yeah and then probably one of the biggest things that you've probably seen slapped over our social media definitely the biggest is thing. uh we won Thames Valley Business Award new startup of the year Yay! so we were selected I think there were there were hundreds of applicants and I know we were shortlisted into about 20 or so and we were we won uh we didn't know that we'd won. We didn't know that we were a finalist. They kind of announced top three. So we'd won new stars of the year. Yeah. Um, and that's down to you guys, really. That's down to the support that we, yeah. we offer, the, the amazing things that you're saying about us. Yeah. Um, you know, the charity, you know, people coming on the charity and raising money for the charities uh, played a big impact on, on that. And again, it's something yeah. that, you know, we couldn't have won that without you guys coming along with us, yeah. believing in us and trusting us, so thank you for that. Yeah, we are so, so proud, and in case you missed the memo, because I did stick it in one of our vlogs when I got the email, but you may not have seen it, um, because we won the Thames Valley Award, yeah. we are now going to the National Award yeah. Ceremony, yeah. which is in April, yeah. so stay tuned. And the whole team are coming for that, yeah. so all five stay of us Stay tuned there. To, to find out uh, how that goes, but we're just... Yeah. Honestly, just absolutely thrilled to have been nominated, yeah. let alone finalisted, and yeah. then actually winning the award is yeah. just, yeah. it was very surreal, and we're very, very proud of our little yeah. business we for, are. We're for so doing proud. that. We're proud of all the team. The, yeah, the all of our that. incredible team, and our awesome clients, and followers, yeah. um, and supporters, and, and all of you guys. Family, just, and, yeah. Yeah, you're Everyone's all great. awesome, so thank you very much thank for that. You. Go on then, do your social media. So, social media. This is my favourite part. Well, not my favourite part, but this is the part that I'm proud of because I've done a lot of work on this. Oh, this is socials. this is. I, I claim no uh, involvement <laughs> in this. I am terrible no. at social media. Charlotte, constantly, I get a text on the way to a client going, take photos or videos. Constantly. Um, and I have then to I text forget. him, otherwise he won't do it. And often he forgets, or I get one took a blurry video from photo. Today. Good job. I know. It's not I great literally video, said to but... him first thing this morning, take photos. Because yeah. obviously we've been close for nearly two weeks, so we've not mm. been seeing clients. So I was like, take photos, so I have content. <laughs> and he was like, okay. I've got a video. Anyway. <laughs> That's a memo of my life. I get shouted out by the girls for not doing enough. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. 
So on our Facebook, yep. we have gained 373 followers. Whoop, whoop. So Nathan asked us this morning, he was like, why is it not like likes anymore? I thought it was likes. No, business pages work differently. So you have like, fo you have followers and likes, but the main one is like the followers. It's yeah. how many people are following the business. So thank you 963 of you that are following. Yeah. Hopefully that's going up. 963. Thank yeah. you very much. Peanuts upside down rolling on the sofa. Peanuts upside down. <laughs> Cool. Um, on our Instagram, yep. we have gained 125 followers. Yep, so that's 393 in total. Yeah, which is awesome. Yep. Um, we have gained 115 subscribers on YouTube. Yep. So we, when we actually started, well, we started the YouTube channel when we opened the business, yeah. but didn't we really didn't really do redo anything on it. Yeah. We put like one video up, didn't we? Yeah, it wasn't very good. And then the next time we put it up was our first birthday anniversary. So we only had four subscribers at that point. So the fact that we've got 125 in, um, um, sorry, 115 yeah. in a year. Yeah. And you've been, you, you really mental. took over that in the summer and, and drove that from what was I about really 40, it. floating about 40. Yeah. I really enjoy doing all these YouTube videos. So I hope you really enjoy them too. On a um, side note, um, Charlotte runs a personal YouTube Stop it. <laughs> life with a paint and it has over 300 in gonna, a year. I'm going to cut that bit. Um, you won't because <laughs> I will comment it in. So this, the, you've got to go and hit that um, channel as well. And that's, that's, you get to see a bit more of a different side to us. I have a horsey, inst um, a horsey. Facebook, Instagram and YouTube channel. Yeah. Just so little, little plug there. My own little thing. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Han. It's all right. Go right, Han. <laughs> And then on TikTok, again, we'd started TikTok, but we, again, we weren't really doing anything on it. it. And it. I have to admit, I felt very old when I first started using TikTok because I did not understand it. I didn't understand how to do Yeah, we had to get a to young anything. friend to help us. Yeah, it was really challenging. Um, so that's just a little insight into my world. Um, but this year, we have gained 502 yeah. followers on TikTok. Whoop, whoop. Which is mental. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. Um, so we now have 551 followers on TikTok. So yeah. most of our TikTok videos are just bloopers of Nathan. Yeah, basically. It's just so if you want to watch some funny bloopers of Nathan, um, and I'm there are some funny bloopers of the dogs as well. Butt Hi, Pee Pee. Peanut wants butt scratches. Yeah, wants butt scratches. Go on, Peanut. Yeah. Um, then yeah, head on over to our TikTok for yeah. just some funny videos of Nathan. Basically, that's it. Um, so yeah, that's all of our like social stats and stuff like that. Um, and then I've just written down like a few of the kind of main things yeah, that have happened same. this year. And I'll obviously pop some like photos and videos if we've got yeah. stuff that are from those events. Yeah. So obviously the big one from this year mm. is Holistic Camp. Yeah. We run huge. what we know as the first dog training camp. Yeah. Dog it was amazing. Wellness camp. Um, and yeah, that was just incredible. We do actually have um, a, vi a vlog Two series videos. on our YouTube. Yeah. So if you do want to see what we got up to at Holistic Camp, that is yeah. up. We are already planning 2023. 2023's Holistic Camp. Yeah. We've already started planning and we are so excited to be yeah, doing it again. So awesome. But yeah, that was just the most incredible weekend. We learnt loads on we how to do it. We had such a blast, yeah. didn't we? Oh, it, it, we it had was so exhausting, much fun. but it was amazing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we are really yeah. excited to bring you Helista Camp 2023. Yeah. This is your first spoiler. It is coming, guys. It is. It's being planned. In the summer. It's coming. Yeah. I would say bigger and better, but I don't want to say that just in case because that scares me. We've learned. We learned <laughs> what worked, and we listened to some of the feedback on things that yeah. not that they didn't work, that maybe a little bit long or a little bit a bit too intense. Um, yeah. And so yeah, we've we've learned. It's, it is going to be bigger, um, but you'll find out why when when we announce it. Um, I'm going to continue. Charlotte's getting lotty on continue. that. So Charlotte went to America. Obviously, Charlotte went to see Sherry Lucas, which Lottie was wants awesome. To be involved. Um, yes. That was probably the most stressful and exciting experience of my entire life. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Again, there is a vlog series all about it. Just so go and, go and check out the vlog series to find out more about that. But yeah, it was it was absolutely incredible meeting Sherry. She is just an incredible trainer. I learned so much from her. I absolutely love spending time with her and it's got a bit distracting me. She's got a bit close. And yeah, we are... Um, going to try and plan at some point over the next couple of years yeah. to have Sherry come and do a workshop over here with us. It's crossed. Um, but yeah, she's just amazing. Yeah. Um, like, if you don't know much about her, be sure to follow her yeah. show socials because she's just incredible. Amazing, amazing little drush drops of content. Yeah, she's just there. awesome. Um, yeah. So yeah, my first solo trip 
Yeah. Ever. Yeah, yeah. It was stressful, guys, but, you know, we made it. Exactly. We made it. Um, we've done, we did our first off-site clinic. We've actually done two off-site clinics. Three. Three. Three, I think. Two Gloucesters. What's the third one? Haven't we done three Gloucesters? No, we're doing uh, the third one. The third one that Charlotte's oh. thinking about is this Saturday, which is fully booked. I thought you'd done two without me. No, I need one without you. Oh, I know. Nice. There will be three. But... There will be three. So the, the, fir the third one is... Well, this Saturday. when this video is released, it will have been yesterday. Yeah, so... Um, so, yeah, Charlotte... Sally came to the first one and came along, and then Charlotte came to the second one. Yep. I think I'm uh, I'm off for the third one, so yeah, it's yeah. really exciting. Yeah, we're really excited, um, and we're going to be planning some more regular clinics off-site. Um, yeah, we've got throughout the year. Yeah, we've we're in conversations with with the the team up in Gloucester to get that to get that continuing. Yeah. Um, because we're hitting a load of people up there that really want our help. Uh, we're in conversation with a few other people. Uh, around the country to try and get some off-site stuff going on as well. Hush, hush, secret, secret stuff. Secret. That's a, a sneak peek. Um, if you want a clinic <laughs> near you and we're not, give us a shout and we can work something out. Yeah, always happy to travel to help out people yeah, and their dogs. 100%. No problem at all. Um, yeah, another big one. We had our first two-day osteopathy clinic. That was Which is awesome. Exhausting. With <laughs> the wonderful Zoost. Yeah, so, amazing Tony. Tony Nevin. He comes down once a month now yeah. and does osteopathy clinics. Yeah. And it was actually a few months ago, wasn't it? It was only a few months ago that we we had our first two day. Yeah. Because we we just had so many yeah, of we you just, guys interested. We booked we Saturday and then couldn't not. And then it was we, well, you need to be come down Friday evening and then it was Friday afternoon and then it's Friday lunchtime. So. Yeah. Bless Tony literally worked like twelve to Bless eight Tony. and then. Yeah, then we, yeah. yeah, it was a late few days. It was tiring, yeah. but it was amazing to just see all the different tweaks. Yeah. Uh, and we're still really working really close with Tony, so yeah, really so, excited to um, reveal more about that. Yeah, our next next clinic is a two day as well. Is it? Yeah, I believe so. Amazing. Um, I think from now on we are going to be doing two day clinics so. with Tony because there was so much demand for the last one. Yeah. So, yeah, if you do want to see Tony, he does or animals any or humans or anything yeah. like that. Um, let us know and we can get you booked onto the next one and yep. we're going to make sure it's planned out a bit better this time because oh, Nathan nothing. was left in charge and that's why Tony was working ridiculously late. Tony loved it. <laughs> Go on then. Um, talked about that. We had our first professional handling workshop. Yeah, that was awesome. That was so good. Um, so yeah, a big part of, of one of the things that we wanted to yeah. be what the business can give back to others yeah um and so we started we created this professional handling workshop mm -hmm. which was basically a um a four-week workshop yeah where other dog professionals so dog yeah. walkers boarders yeah. vets whatever else could come and learn how to work with groups of dogs yeah. or difficult dogs um, and we weren't easy on them. We were really tough we, on them. Yeah, we were. So they got to work with all of our pack, our five dogs. They got to work with the pack setting. They also yeah. got to work with individual cases. Yeah. We talked through the basics of... Muzzle training. Yeah. Intact males and how to manage groups of intact males. Yeah, managing dogs. groups of dogs. Yeah, we had Harley. So we talked about deaf dogs and communicating with them. We did a lot on managing certain behavioural issues. Yeah. Um, and we talked about how you could start doing some training with dogs that yeah. you have in to kind of mould them to work. We also worked with um, their dogs as well to, you know, yeah. as, as with our guys, our dogs are the forefront of our pack. Yeah. We worked with getting their pack as balanced as possible to then really push out so their clients' dogs are in the best position as well. Yeah. So that was awesome. That it, was an incredible was, weekend. It was a week, so much. Four weeks. Four weeks, hun. Four individual weeks. Four individual, like, two-hour sessions. Yeah. Um, they were awesome. Yeah, we, we absolutely loved that. We had so much fun. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we're again, we're planning another one of those events for this year. Are we? Yes, we are. Yes. We just think it's really important to be able to give yeah. back to other professionals and to support other professionals. The whole yeah. point of what we're trying to create is a supportive network, mm -hmm. not just for clients, but also for, for other professionals within the dog training industry yeah. or outside of the dog training industry, just working with dogs. Um, because you do get a lot of hate and a lot of yeah. um, criticism within the dog world. Yeah. Like we, we think it's important to be supportive of those who yeah, are 100%. trying their best for dogs. Yeah. 
Let's uh, we'll, we'll roll through these a bit quicker, otherwise this is going to be the longest anyway, video in the world for you guys. So um, Clara became a full-time trainer in June. Yeah. So we offer seven days a week training, which is incredible because yeah. there was always a fear that when we were off that I had to kind of keep my foot in the t keep my foot in the water just to make sure that you guys were happy. Clara is now there, so you can get advice seven days a week, yes. which is awesome. And also Sally um, did a course. Yeah learning all about dog training and behavior. So she is now also offer, uh, able to offer dog training yeah, she um, can just give little bits advice here and, there. and stuff over the phone. Um, so yeah, this one was a really exciting one that I found. We've graduated 18 puppies from our puppy courses. Yeah. Puppy uh, courses. And yeah. Our puppy courses are difficult. They are hard. They, they are not based in a village hall. They are based in a park and yeah. quite often based when the park is busy with football kids and footballs and bits like that so it is difficult for them to yeah. graduate and to do well in that course um, but it sets them up for life it doesn't set them up for for basic stuff it sets them up for an entire life yeah and it's nice to see some of the puppies later on um, this year yeah, as well just really well. little things here and there just to help with and that yeah. was awesome we we deliberately created this course in the way that we did yeah. because we wanted to set up our puppy clients yeah. for real life not going into a village hall yeah. once a week for a few weeks and then yeah. going out into the real world with loads of distractions yeah. and finding they've got a puppy who doesn't listen so yeah. you know we start out with distractions we you know we up the distractions each yeah. each week we do different things we take them to the supermarket we, work, we take them to yeah. um you know to the garden center we go into town you know we do difficult things so yeah. that when you guys go out into the real it's world easy. it's easier yeah. because you've already done it with us we, what we did is we looked at the most common behavior issues we see in young adolescent dogs yeah. and we tailored that into the puppy claws to make sure that they didn't hit those problems yeah so, yeah. so congrats to all of our puppies that have graduated we've got, we've got four or five in the next one signed up we which is awesome. yeah we already are nearly fully booked for the, the next, next one, one. we generally awesome. do them like every every quarter so yeah um and then I guess probably one of the most exciting parts, mm. uh, we adopted a new dog. Yay! Little Mario! Um, there is going to be a little video series yeah. coming with him. Um, I thought that I would take the opportunity to show you guys what it is like to train a dog mm -hmm. that we've never worked with before. No. Um, but if you missed the memo, Mario is our little Jack Russell. He's yep. 10 years old. Yep. Um, he was actually my dad's dog yeah. um, in November my dad sadly passed away quite yeah. unexpectedly and so we have ended up adopting really? little yeah. Mario so he can stay in the family yeah. and join the pack and he he's doing so well he's he, doing awesome he's come in he's come in from a, a life of quiet and mm -hmm. nothing to busy <laughs> And he's coping it really well. He's doing great. He's doing so, so well. Um, but I am going to do like his own little series of, yeah. of showing you guys the process of bringing a dog that we've yeah. never worked with before, who doesn't really know anything, mm -hmm. um, and how we kind of get yeah. get the training done. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we adopted him in November. Yeah. So we've had him a few months now, and he's he's doing great. He's such a cracking little dog. I've always had a soft spot for terriers, and he's you'll, just awesome. You'll see him out in a place. He's everywhere at the moment. He's just yeah. wagging his tail as he goes. He's just happy. He's happy as always. So yeah, um, so yeah those yeah. are kind of our, our big, big things. things for this year. Um, as always, thank you thank so you. much to everybody who has supported our business over the last couple of years. We really, really appreciate it, and we cannot wait for this year. No, it's been it's been an incredible two years. It's been it's been a very difficult two years, but it's been an incredible two years, yeah. and we really couldn't do it without you guys. So, thank you so much for coming along for the ride. Thank you for trusting <laughs> in us. Thank you just just for the support and love we get. You know, we do this job because we enjoy yeah. it. It is we love this job. It is a hobby for us. You know, we have always been interested in dogs. It just happens to pay our bills. Uh, most of the time um, <laughs> but we absolutely love this job and what makes it incredible is you guys you know I, I first session I did back from Christmas and it was just amazing the owner put in so much hard work over Christmas you could see it and we went from you know the dog being a three out of ten to a seven out of ten and it was just uh, you know what those moments for me are worth their weight in gold they're yeah, incredible so, so I love those moments it. so thank you to everyone for supporting us and Come along and enjoy 2023 as much as we will. Yeah, so we have some big plans, obviously. We are planning Holista Camp 2023. We're, we're, we're very excited about that. 
We also have some other events. I don't want to give too much away no. because it ruins the excitement. Um, but, you know, we are planning some more events throughout the year. We also have some exciting changes coming to the business. Yeah, again, find more soon. not going to tell you anything just yet. No. But you will be finding out um, probably within the next month. Yeah, some, hopefully. Some big changes that are coming to yeah, the business. Yeah, we've got some video calls to do tonight on that. We do. Very exciting. All right. Um, but, yeah. We'll thank leave it there. Thank you so much. Um, we hope you enjoyed this video. We don't tend to do a lot of these kind of sit down talky videos. No. Um, so yeah, I hope you did enjoy this and we hope um, you've enjoyed following us on this journey of our little business. Um, and if you did, please give us a like. Subscribe and comment. Comment below. Um, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye guys. A little bit. That'll be helpful. You've left already. I yeah. can't stretch because I've got Lottie on my lap. I can't turn it off. Lottie's on my lap. Lottie, let's go. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, okay, she's going. Bye.